Hello everyone, my name is Neve. Today I'm going to be talking about what anxiety is, the different types of anxiety and why more awareness is needed to be raised on this issue. You may be wondering, how is anxiety a disorder? Anxiety is normally a good thing because it's your body's natural response to danger. But sometimes people constantly get this even when they are not in danger. This is when it could possibly be a disorder. When you are anxious, you could feel dread, restless and tense. This could result in you getting a higher heart rate, shortness of breath and nausea. Sometimes the reason for the anxiety attack is obvious, but in some cases there is no reason at all. There are six main types of anxiety disorder. These are generalised anxiety disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic, pho panic phobias, post-traumatic stress disorder and social anxiety. You may not know what some of these are, so I will give you a brief explanation. Generalised anxiety is when there are various different reasons for the attack. Obsessive compulsive disorder is most commonly linked to everything being in a specific place or everything being clean and organised. Phobia is a fear of an object, place or animal and in some cases a situation. Post-traumatic stress disorder is caused by experiencing distressing situations. Finally, social anxiety is a feeling of insecurity or low self-esteem and the fear of being criticised, which could result in difficulty completing everyday activities. Between 1 in 5 in 100 people suffer anxiety and 6 in 100 adults have an anxiety disorder at some point in their lives. 1 in 100 children between the ages of 5 and 16 show symptoms of having anxiety. More awareness is needed because people don't see it as a proper illness. People think that because everyone has anxiety, people don't think of it as a disorder, that people who say they have it are just overreacting. People with an anxiety disorder feel that they can't get help because they are criticised by society and feel that they won't be helped. Some people even develop depression because they aren't getting proper treatment and aren't taken seriously. As a person that suffers with anxiety myself, I feel that there is not enough help available for me. If I did go and get help, I wouldn't get sufficient help that I need and I would still be having anxiety attacks regularly. The reason I want to get help is so I can reduce these anxiety levels and that I can be better at completing everyday activities without getting the fear of having anxiety attacks or even having anxiety attacks. But because not a lot of awareness has been raised for this issue, I feel that it's not available to me and that I've heard from people that have gotten help that they are only given breathing exercises and that they don't really help, which puts me off of opening up to someone and talking about it because I feel that no one will help me to understand why I get these anxiety attacks or ways to reduce my anxiety levels without using just breathing exercises. Say that was like a certain, if I found a certain reason for it, I would want to be able to know how to reduce it and avoiding the situation possibly, but not always having to do breathing exercises which don't always help. I believe that if people with physical illness get treated without being judged or called names, then so should people with anxiety and all forms of mental health illnesses. Why should people feel like they are all alone, even with all the help available, but they just don't know about it? I hope this video has helped someone, and I hope that people want to raise more awareness for mental health, because it's not just anxiety, there are so many other mental health disorders out there, and some people don't even think that they exist, because not enough awareness is, ne is raised. But if people want to be able to get help without feeling judged, then people need to know what mental health is and that it should be more of something that they can get help for instead of being such a taboo word. Thank you for listening.